Hey, greetings from the Belmont Goat Field. In honor of the new unique, Keen Footwear has sent us on a quest to produce the most unique interview in the world. So we're here with a bunch of goats to chat with a bagpiping unicyclist. Let's go, Phil. The Pedal Power Talk Show is a talk show on a bike. And you're watching it now. So, Brian, what did you learn first, unicycling or bagpipes? Um, I wouldn't say I learned either first. I was in the process of uh, learning the bagpipes when I found a unicycle, not this one, but a unicycle uh, in a dumpster that somebody was throwing away. So when, when did that actually happen? When did those two hobbies fuse? There was a drunken bet one night uh, sitting around with some friends and you know they, they, they knew I had these two peculiar skills. And I figured, yeah, why not? Let's, let's give it a shot. Let's see if this works together. They say that playing the bagpipes is like making love to an octopus. <laughs> Try that for an image. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got a unicycle here and I've got a pedal power talk show. So it seems a little weird that we're doing a stationary interview. So now you have a bagpipe that shoots flames as well. So how did that come about? Well, uh, I think the goal is to keep people a little surprised. And once you have a bagpipe and a unicycle, there's not too many places you can go from there. Right. So fire was the natural next step. Uh huh. When you're going down the street, it's hard to ignore you. Everybody notices you. Everybody's got to say something. So what has been the best response you've gotten and the worst response you've gotten? <laughs> um, there was a man uh, one time, I guess, that uh, my, uh, the sound of my pipes offended him so much that he went uh, into his garage and uh, pulled out his uh, little crotch rocket uh, motorcycle, pulled it up right next to me and thought he could, uh, you know, let's have a sound competition. Uh -huh. Best reaction uh, is just every day riding across the Burnside Bridge, seeing the smiles on people's faces. Uh. You ready for a question from the ask matic Let's do it. Okay, we've never done one in motion before. There we go. Where is the furthest place you have ever been from where you are now? Uh, Copenhagen, Denmark. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, the power of the pipes in unicycle is what brought me there, too, so. What was the event? It was a software company, and I can't even remember what their name was, but uh, I think they like to each year try and top themselves, and that year I was the topper. Man, well, thanks a lot for riding and chatting with us, Brian. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's been, it's been a pleasure. Was that unique enough for you? Maybe, but our quest isn't over yet. Should the most unique interview in the world include a cameo from an opera singer? or a marching band. Go ahead, click on one of those right now. It is up to you, my friends. Click, opera singer, marching band. It's a hard decision, I know.